Well, friends, today is a big day, a historic day, you could say. Well, as historic as anything on a YouTube channel can be. But today marks the return of the Mapex kit. That's right, I'm bringing my Mapex kit into the sanctuary. So if you're new to my channel, you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll catch you up to speed. So I own, personally, a Mapex Saturn kit that is my favorite kit that I've played, literally. I love the sound, I love the feel, love the tones I get, specifically because of the configuration, well, it's all the things. It's um, 10, 12, 14, 16. It's a maple walnut hybrid, which it kind of has like a lower fundamental tone, but they're like short stack toms, so they're kind of cut shorter. So basically it's big, it's full, it's quick, so it's like got a big sound, but it disappears quick. It's got a nice decay. It's a nice looking kit, all this kind of stuff. But I haven't had it in the sanctuary. I was gonna bring it in there, um, but we had a guy come and like retune the whole room. And so we just had the DW kit sounding really great. So I didn't want to mess with it and kind of mess up that mojo. But um, we're actually doing some renovations on the uh, sanctuary. So I thought this would be a good time, if any time, uh, to switch out and you know use the Mapex kit again. So I'll show you some of the renovations we're doing in the sanctuary And then we're gonna set up the Mapex kit. So here we go Okay, so you can see we're doing some painting on the stage um, They blacked out From there to there. So it's looking awesome. It's kind of the first step in a remodel we're working on so during Hurricane Harvey we had an elementary use our building and it was kind of a catalyst to change a lot of things um, because a lot of things got not damaged in a bad way, but just you know 700 kids every day Does a lot of work. So um, this is the current state of the platform So as you can see this is a great time if you want to make us some changes to make them So previously we've had this DW collector series kit up here, which sounds good. No, you know huge issues um, but we're gonna be Setting up the other kit. So this is kind of where it's gonna be. This is where the kit has been in the past so this is where we're gonna Travis kind of just dropped this here as a reference point of what we're going to do for now. So, I'm going to get the Mapex kit, bring it in here, and uh, get to work. Forgot to bring my camera and don't feel like going back to get it. So, this was the studio I was using, but um, since we got the multi-tracking in the sanctuary, I don't need it anymore. So, this is my kit. These are my kits. Walk down a little memory lane here. This is the first kit I ever bought right here. Thomas Star Classic Birch, incredible kit. Love the kit, it's awesome. I picked this guy up on Craigslist for $300. It's a PD, I mean Pacific um, LX series. Um, so that's 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And then here's the guy we're gonna be using, Mapex Saturn. Um, I'm missing a kit right here that was stolen. Yeah, huge bummer. If you remember um, from some previous videos, I had a um, I had a red wine sparkle Tama kit. A um, can't remember the series name now, um, but yeah, got stolen from here at the church. Um, I'm also gonna be setting up a aux snare, so I'm gonna be using my sledgehammer, uh, Mapex sledgehammer, my aux snare. Gotta put a new head on it though. But yeah, the Mapex kit is going in, so just thought I would. Show you guys these other kits I've got. Here we go. In other very random news, my in-ear case busted the little clip and I like to clip it onto my stick bag. So um, I bought this really cheap Pelican Micro 1010 case and some pluckable foam, but the pluckable foam is from a different series. So I'm gonna try to make do with this because I didn't want to buy the 1964 um, $40 uh, headphone case, although I might end up doing it because it's so small, but I didn't know if I had a clip on it. Um, I couldn't find a picture with like, if it had a clip or not. So if you have a 60, 1964 ears, the new case, like the small one, let me know if it's got a clip on it because I like to hang it on my stick bag. So for now, I'm gonna try to cut this foam up, fit it in here and maybe make some um, spots. You can see like in this case, there's like some slots for your ears to go into. So I'm gonna try to recreate that inside this pluckable foam thing. So just a random thing, but came in the mail today and uh, want to go ahead and get it set up. So, it's not perfect. Um, 
and I may make some adjustments. I may put some foam on, on the top of this just because uh, you know it's making a little bit more contact than I would like with the top. Yeah, you know, I'll probably cave and buy a real case for it. But um, I mean, for 20 bucks, not bad. I'll put the link in the description of this video, like for this case and this little pluckable foam. The pluckable foam was for actually a larger case, but I wanted it a little bit bigger so I'd have some more room to figure out what I wanted to do. So we'll see. Probably need to kind of uh, safeguard this top part as well. So, but all for this stupid little clip. We'll see, not the best thing I've ever done, but just really needed that clip. Um, and I think 1964, I mean, they make a small case, but I think they actually make like the foam inserts uh, to put into the Pelican case, because this is actually a Pelican case. Um, so I don't know, I didn't really do tons of research. It was kind of an impulse buy at the airport, so I just knew I needed a case that could clip, so I just ordered what I needed and got it. So, I mean, it works, it works great. So I mean, if you don't have a case or you don't have a good in your case or, something this will work and um, I'll put you know the link to all the stuff in the description below but not bad so on to the real objective of bringing in the Mapex all right here we go and there you have it folks the Mapex kit has returned with an aux snare I'm running my Mapex uh, Black Panther Sledgehammer is an aux snare. And then fourth time, I'm running 10, 12, 16, 14. I'm running that out of order because I want the 16 to be my, my main setup. And the 14, when I go to Tom Grooves, I'll go to that, so. Yep. And it sounds great in this room. It sounds killer. And I don't think that we need the shield just because the placement, uh, Soaks it up a lot better than it was over on the other side, but man. I'm telling you, you just can't go wrong. It's gonna be fun. Sunday's gonna be good. I'm gonna get some more rehearsal in, but I'm gonna go home now, get some food. Probably try to rehearse tomorrow. And Saturday, get comfortable on the setup, run the tracks and everything, so. Should be fun. See you later. So this version of Friend of God is really fun, um, and one reason I love it is because it's not chop crazy, uh, and it may, you may be like, no, there's a lot of stuff in it, but it's very like super laid back. All the chops are just, man, they're just, they sit so great. It's not super overt, it's not over the top, it's real, you know, sat real deep back, so I've been working on that for a while. Um, and this is one of those things, a lot of songs are like this, once you kind of crack the code, if you will, it all makes sense. Like this song is all about leading in with the snare, and then it's all 16th note push, like one, two, three, four, two, two, ga, two, 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 ga, so, uh, so, one, and a two, and a three, and a four, two, two, ga, ah, 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 right? All those upbeats. Twenty and a two, and a three, e, and a uh, two, ga, two, two, ga, two, two, ding, two, ga, da, da, two, ga, ga, right? So it's all like um, kind of these 16th note pushes, uh, which is great. I mean, I just love the feel of it. So I'm really digging in, trying to get it note for note in some areas, but then some parts, Kind of doing a tribute. I actually covered this on one of the first songs I ever covered. My first like real drum fill uh, I made for the song. So I'm kind of like paying homage to my beginnings in that aspect. So you'll see gospel fill number one. I kind of changed it just a little bit um, in the chorus, but it's in there. So I didn't want to just like crazy chop out. I wanted to kind of throw that in um, kind of as a throwback to my first lesson. So um, it's Saturday night. I've been, I've been up here just kind of working on some camera angles and different things. So. Our stage is different, our stage layout is different now, so it's one of the reasons I got the Mapex out as I've already explained. So I'm just kind of figuring out angles and everything, but um, got a little more time on this song and the rest of the set, and then I'll be out of here, and I'll see you guys in the morning.
All right, that's a wrap for today. Man, I loved having the uh, Mapex kit up here. I loved having the two toms and the aux snare sounds good and everything was just great. So super fun Sunday. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be posting also some of the songs individually from today. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That'll help it rank higher on YouTube so more people will see it. Share it with someone if you think they would enjoy it. Um, you know, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Uh, man, I would love for you to follow along. And last thing here, just to let you know again, I'm using a 1967 Ludwig Superphonic, a Mapex uh, Black Panther sledgehammer. I've got uh, all Samson cymbals with a, this is 14 inch Evo hats, a 9 inch splash, 17 inch brilliant, 21 inch heritage medium thin ride, 20 inch brilliant uh, raw bell crash, and then an 18 over 20 um, stack here, and these are extra thin cymbals. And then I'm running 10, 12, 16 14 so I get asked about that I run that before but I like the 16 is like my main time my floor time I want the 16 like 80% of the time I'm gonna play the 16 or finish on the 16 but if I'm doing Tom grooves I want the 14 there to add it as well but I just have it backwards um, you know kind of kind of Marvin McQuitty s just because I like that 16 is my main um, floor time so yep love having the Mapex out today and uh, thanks for hanging with me oh yeah one more thing um, tried this. This is a Sennheiser E609 uh, on the aux snare. And uh, let me pull it off here. Oh. Yeah, Sennheiser E609. Really like it. It's nice and crisp, but it gets a full range of sound. And I think it's got a good um, sound, you know, SPL level. It can take some pretty high um, sound intensity, but. It's easy to address, you know, to the snare, and uh, it's only like 90 bucks brand new, so really like it. Um, it's a great mic, but thanks for hanging with me, and we'll see you guys in the next one.